I started my trip to the Rioja wine region by making a quick visit to Haro, the bustling capital of Rioja. Everywhere you look, wine is at the heart of the cultural and economic life here, including statues and other landmarks such as this street painting, depicting what life can be like if you too drink a little Rioja wine. Just outside the walled city are some of the region's top bodegas, many producing well over 300,000 bottles a year in state-of-the-art facilities such as this one. Today, Rioja wines can be found in some of the top restaurants and wine shops in the world. Now a quick overview of the Rioja wine region. Rioja is made from grapes grown not just in La Rioja, but also in parts of Navarra and the Basque province of Alava. The Rioja is about 152,000 acres with about 600 wineries. The main grapes produced in the Rioja are the Tempranillo, Viura, Garnacha, Graciano, and Metzuelo grapes. And 85% of the wines made in the Rioja are red. The soil of the region is comprised mostly of chalk and iron with some limestone, sandstone, and alluvial silt. And lastly, with some exceptions, the climate is usually either Mediterranean or continental. I'm now off to the outskirts of the medieval village of La Guardia, 25 minutes from Haro, where I have an appointment with one of Rioja's most prestigious producers, Artadi. The bodega was founded in 1985 by a group of 13 local winemakers. But later, in 1991, the cooperative broke up and Juan Carlos Lopez de la Calle purchased the bodega and many of the vineyards to make up Artadi as it is today. The estate produces around 30,000 cases a year and sells to many markets, but primarily the US, the UK, Germany, and Canada. The estate's Rioja wines are produced under the Artadi and the Viña El Pison labels. At Artadi, sustainable farming is the focus. Organic and biodynamic concepts are practiced chemical compounds are never used, sulfur is kept at a minimum, and native yeasts are utilized over cultured ones. To find out more about Artadi and its approach to winemaking, we went to speak with our export manager, Ana Isabel Rodriguez. We work all our vineyards in uh, organic farming, which is also very important for us because this is the way that we get the personality of the vineyards, and this is what we want to transmit in a bottle of wine. We want to transmit a different experience. We want to give you the chance to learn more about the terroir, about the place, about the soil. So when you taste a bottle of our wines, of Achadi wines, we want you to have a real different experience. We want you to close your eyes and feel that you are in the area, looking at the Sierra Cantabria area and uh, listening to the birds in the vineyards. Achadi has a uh, presence in three different winemaking regions here in Spain. Of course, the headquarters and the first company was, uh, was, built, was uh, founded here in 1985. It is in, in La Guardia, in Alaba, and is part of the Rioja Basque country. Uh, that was, uh, the, that's the first part of the company, but then we also have another two properties in Navarra and Alicante. Uh, we started these two projects. In Navarra we started in 1996 uh, and in Alicante we started in 1999. So we call them projects, but now today there are companies which are so stable and they have their own personality and their own markets. Uh, but I mean the philosophy and the heart of each, uh, of each region is, is, is the same. We work the terroir concept and the local grape. So in this case we have uh, Tempranillo grape varieties in Alava, uh, Grenas wines in uh, Navarra. The names of the wines are Garnacha by Artazu and it is the Pasos de San Martin and Santa Cruz. And the last uh, region is Alicante, it's in the Mediterranean area, it is just close to the Mediterranean Sea. And there we have our Mediterranean wine, it is called El Seque, and the grape variety we use there is Buonastral. So this is the, this is the complete uh, 
project for Atadi in the winemaking, and that's our um, tribute to the Spanish uh, winemaking. As luck would have it, today, September 11th, is the first official day of harvest for the 2015 vintage at Artadi. Right now, the crew is picking Vieira grapes for Artadi's Pagos Viejos White in one of the oldest vineyards at Artadi, the El Ceradillo Vineyard. Ruben, the vineyard manager, is performing one of the most important tasks during harvest. He is simultaneously picking and eliminating as many of the bad grapes as possible before the grapes are brought to the winery. Ruben is now teaching Christina, a fellow Artadi employee, how to correctly select out the bad grapes. La mano, la mano es nada, se uh -huh. tiene abajo, ahí, uh -huh. ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Y preselecciona. Entonces tienes que coger el lado, lo bueno, esto que es lo bueno, sí. lo bueno y lo malo, solo queda lo bueno. So far, everyone seems happy with the quality of the grapes. <laughs> Back at the winery, the workers are preparing for the beginning of harvest and the arrival of this year's grapes. Here is where the incoming grapes will go first, so they can be sorted through one last time before being sent to be crushed. Now back to the vineyards, this time to the Viña El Pison vineyard, which is 100% Tempranillo and is comprised of a clay limestone soil. As the name indicates, this is the vineyard where all the grapes for the Viña El Pison wines are sourced and where only biodynamic and organic viticulture is practiced. The vineyard isn't just about grapes though, but is loaded with fig trees and flowers. In addition, there's a unique microclimate here, one that combines continental, Atlantic, and Mediterranean influences. Now we're off to the village of LaGuardia, where we'll be visiting the El Pison winery and hopefully tasting some wine. So, uh, well, the first wine we want to show you, it is uh, our Atadi Viñas de Gain. For us, uh, Viñas de Gain is a very special wine because it is, ex uh, it is uh, the expression of the Tempranillo in our villages. For us, it's very important, this uh, thing, the village, uh, because uh, it is like people, you know, when uh, somebody comes from a different particular village, you love your village. So we love the places where we have our vineyards. We love the vineyards from La Guardia, we love the vineyards from El Villar, and the vineyards from Leza. These are the three villages which are around here, and they are all particular and very special uh, testing with us. Uh, as I told you before, around Tempranillo grape variety. So, Viñas de Caen, it is this wine, and uh, it is a really a very clean and fruity expression of Tempranillo. The aromas to cherries, very clean oak, on the nose, and on the mouth, this lovely, lingering finish, elegant and finesse. The next wine I'm going to show you is our Atadi La Poza de Ballesteros. It is our single vineyard wine. La Poza de Ballesteros is a vineyard which is in uh, El Villar and uh, it is just in one part of the, of the, of the uh, hill in a valley, just in the, same, in the same valley as the other single vineyard wines called Valle Ginés. In La Poza we have the sun in the afternoon, so we have a more uh, more strong wine, more thick wine, more the, 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 the sun influenced the, the grapes in a more complex way. So we, in this wine, in La Poza de Ballesteros, we have a really uh, pleasure to have a mature wine full of uh, black fruit and uh, lovely, lovely ginger and elegant finish. Our time at Artadi and Viña El Pison is over, but before leaving LaGuardia, Let's take a look at this dynamic medieval village. The village within this walled city hasn't changed much since it was established in 1164. With just over 1,500 inhabitants, this village attracts tourists from far and wide, coming to experience life as it must have been several hundred years ago. Its entrance gates, walls, and old city streets still intact. And not only is the world-class wine a draw, but the local cuisine is also impressive.
featuring a variety of interesting pinchos made with fresh produce, free-range meats, and artisanal cheeses. Well, it's time to leave LaGuardia and the beautiful Rioja region. I will sure miss the friendly people and great food and wine. Special thanks to the folks at Artadi for letting us feature their world-class bodega. Gracias and hasta luego.